epic day devotional was birthed in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic in April 2020. It was an unprecedented time when the entire nations of people were looming in the fear of death, uncertainty, and darkness. Hello there, my name is Gideon Mba. I pastor Manifold International Church. Um, the epic devotional for me uh, started uh, structurally as a result of the lockdown in 2020. Uh, we began to think of ways to engage uh, every citizen of Manifold in the Word daily and we felt that according to Acts chapter 2 verse 42 one of the things that the apostles did was that they continued daily in doctrine and we thought to ourselves um, how can we bring the word of the Lord to every manifold citizen every day whilst the lockdown was happening and we knew that ministry was going from just being a Sunday morning experience to becoming a daily experience so that was what birthed the epic devotional the Lord gave us a word to arise and illuminate the darkness pervading the atmosphere at such a time by churning out God's word of hope, light, grace and strength to the fearful world. Hello Manifold, my name is Mackinde Dennis, popular you know as MD. I'm the team leader for EPD Devotional for Friday M242 Center 1. Um, it's been a while I've been in Manifold. I joined Manifold in July 2019, as it's going to almost two years now. I've been in Manifold for quite a time. Yeah, what inspired me to join the APD Divisional Team? I used to have some conversation then with Pastor Gideon, that is pre-COVID. Um, sometimes I draft some content for myself and I sent to Pastor Gideon to review for me as my spiritual father, you know, you need to keep your work under subjection also to, to be sure you are still in the way. And uh, he turned out to be that Pastor Gideon likes it and the same son, I want us to have something like this. Um, I, I want us to set up a devotional team for the House of Manifold and let me just say COVID gave us uh, the platform, the opportunity to do that and that would be awesome. My name is Amarachi Kechuku. Um, I've been in Manifold for 13 years and counting. I think it was towards the end of the lockdown in 2020. I was, um, I was thinking about what you need to serve at the time. Um, it was a burden on my heart and it was really heavy. And so after a while, Pastor Gideon just uh, calls me and says, Daughter, you know, when Fiji calls you, daughter uh, and he just confirmed it on my heart that okay so it's time to be part of the team and uh, the word epic comes from our core value excellence purpose integrity and community lifestyle so we thought about it and my wife you know came up with that uh you know uh coinage you know epic and so we have ever since worked that into every of our creed and expression and I believe that every day uh, you should have an epic day, you should have a day that is excellent, purposeful, full of integrity and you're able to do life in community with other believers and the people God brings you with. Since the inception of Epic Day Devotional, many lives have been transformed and testimonies continue to abound. Hi, my name is Chidma Obidegu. And I've been in Manifold since 2018. I belong to the Haven M242. It's a lot of gay. <laughs> I've been listening to the Epic Day devotional since last year, and um, it feels uh, thrilling to have um, earned the Epic Day devotional badge. Listening to the Epic Day devotional has sort of um, helped me to shape my day. So I find it um, useful tuning in, having a word, or something I can meditate on through the day. Hi, my name is Adela Deyemi and I am super excited on this day where we are marking the one year anniversary of the Epic Day Devotional to just talk a bit about the Epic Day Devotional and that has been a blessing. Uh, I've been in Manifold for about seven years now and what the Epic Day Devotional has done in the last one year has been phenomenal and I mean phenomenal. The consistency of the word, the accuracy of the delivery, 
life, you know, just listening to those words and starting your day uh, with the everyday devotional has been such a blessing uh, to me and I believe to uh, every uh, listener and everyone who has been involved with the Epic Day devotional. Hello Manifold, my name is Wanchiko Adora Kaima. Actually, feel honored to be bashed as um, one of the Epic Devotional listeners. Epic Devotional for me is inspired by the need to see believers continue daily. I believe that we shouldn't wait until Sunday morning to share in the Word, but uh, doctrine should come to us every day. Being fed in the Word of God should come to you every day. And we want to trust that as a result of these uh, uh, teachings and times of prayer and devotion in the Word, uh, you can actually have an epic day. Uh, you know, talking about the ep epic day devotional, uh, you, you can't help but uh, get to get yourself to be aligned with the epic day devotion and the reason is this this is you knowing that on a daily basis you will be served hot fresh word let me put it that way hot and fresh you know word uh, at the same time and that for me it's a good starter uh, on days where I get to miss the audio version and I also want to thank the team for the transcription uh, the written format, you know, that they also send out. On those days, you still are able to catch up with the written format of the Epic Day Devotion. And that for me just makes me know that no matter what it is, no matter how busy or how crazy my day starts or how, how crazy the day gets, I still have an opportunity to catch up on the Epic Day Devotion. For scheduling to listen, I usually just set my alarm to ring at 6 a.m. so I can pray till 6.30 then tune into the epic day devotional. What helps me, let me use that word helps, to bring out rich content uh, repeatedly is that I listen to Pastor Gideon's messages and I, I study a lot also about a particular topic before drafting. I study a lot. I listen to some pastor, but number one is Pastor Gideon's messages because uh, you know the spirit of the house, you have to align with it. How I ensure that the content for the epic devotional are rich study 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 it's important that you know because we know that we are bringing the word to the body of christ we have to study study to show yourself approved and then the content have to be you know on point for the word you know the word in the house for that season and then um pastor gideon's message is sometimes when he's uh, preaching on a tuesday or on a sunday some of us get to take notes and from there we get um, content for the Epic Devotional. The Epic Day Devotional as a ministry platform has presented every member of the team the opportunity to engage in ministry daily. It has helped me a lot. I, I, I kind of grow. Personally, I'm a reserved person. Even though I can relate well, but I'm a reserved person. But with this platform, I think waking up every morning, talking to people, you know, I'm used to it. Now I look as if I'm a pastor of a church. But thank God for the opportunity. Oh, the future of Epic Devotional. I, I believe it's going to grow into something very, very powerful. Uh, I believe it's going to grow into uh, not just a daily devotional, but an opportunity to get the word out, the, the word of the kingdom out, the word of the Lord in the house of Manifold to the nations of the earth. And I believe that it's going to become a ministry that will birth magazines, live shows, uh, different Bible applications, and it's going to become something that can even grow into, uh, you know, certain online expressions of, of devotionals that can help empower believers everywhere to, to live the epic life. So I, I see it grow. One of the beautiful things is this about Epic Day Devotional. You can be doing your work and have your earpiece. You can be commuting and have your earpiece. You can literally be doing anything and be able to still listen in to uh, the Epic Day Devotional. So I want to encourage you, uh, if you want to take your word life a, a step further, if you want to take your devotion to God a step further, if you want to get to dig into the word of God a step further, you want to make Epic Day Devotional part of your life. I would encourage you to listen to the Epic Day Devotional because it's a good way to start your day. You know, when you tune in, you have the opportunity of listening to God's word. And besides, God speaks to us in various ways. It could just be something you have heard that morning 
that is an answer to a pressing issue. It could be an answer to, your, to, to a now moment for you. And I want to call on as many people who feel they are called into uh, writing or you can be on the ed editorial uh, team of this epic devotional. The, the, the potential is limitless of what this can be, where we can daily take the Word of God out. Uh, yes, I would encourage anyone, anyone in my space and outside my space um, to listen to Epic Devotional is important because not only has it helped me grow, it just has a way of just you know making my day run smooth. I uh, will encourage you all to start listening to Epic Devotional. If you are not listening to Epic Day Devotional at this time, you are very wrong. I just want to encourage you to keep listening to the Epic Day Devotional. And in case you've not even started listening to it at all, you can make that decision today. It's a beautiful way to start your day. Wow, 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 wow. We have had an amazing team at the Epic Devotional, uh, uh, you know, who put together the Epic Devotional. I want to say a big thank you to Pastor Bode, who's the supervising pastor. I want to say a big thank you to Dennis, to, to Amara, to uh, all of the wonderful people who make it happen. I know there are quite a number of you on the team. I can't quite mention all your names, sort out, and all of you who make it happen. I want to appreciate you. I want you to know that your commitment to, to, to making this happen is changing lives. I really want to appreciate you for the work you put in, for the sleepless nights. Uh, many of you have to stay up the night to make sure the manual is out, to make sure the broadcasting happens. We say the Lord bless and multiply you. And I pray that you will continually be refreshed. The Bible says, uh, you know, those who water others will be watered. And I pray that your life will continually be a conduit for many more people to be blessed. Oh, to my team, I want to say thank you. Thank you for being my support. Thank you for being my pillar. Thank you for being, for being there. Thank you for the content. I, I Let me just mention names. Pastor Bode, thank you for being the strength. Amara, you've been the mama for the team. Sort out. Uh, if you did, thank you also. Uh, to one of our team members that is not available now, Ken Emiyali, thank you also. You've been consistent. Pastor Abraham Uche, Thank you very much and thank you Pastor Gideon and Pastor Peter for giving us the opportunity to be part of uh, the work of God this season. Wow, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who has uh, continually listened to the Epic Devotional and for many of us it's it's been a life-changing experience. I could mention a few names, Pastor Maria, Zach, you know, I know people who just show up. Sorry if I didn't mention your name, you know, God knows that you're listening. Some of us, you know, we do three days, some of us do four days, some of us, you know, we remember when we're in trouble and we really need to hear from God. But you know, whatever I want to say to you, it's time to strengthen your commitment to being part of the Epic Devotional. First of all, I tell you, it's a good way to start your day. Uh, the Bible talks about, you know, putting the Word of God in your heart. It says, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate in it day and night. So the Epic Devotional the, the, is, is an opportunity, is a platform. It's a system by which you can live the Joshua 1, 8 experience every day of your life. And so if you're listening, I want to say to you, keep listening. You're growing. The Bible says that by the Word of God you grow. It says you, you, you desire the sincere make by which you grow. And then the Bible says, I commend you to uh, the word of his grace uh, by which you grow. So the word of God that you receive daily. You see, it's not just about hearing the word. It's about having a routine around hearing the word of God. Uh, we grow by routines. People who don't like routines never really grow. People who can't set their time and set their alarm to, to wake up early, to seek God and to, to put God first and to hear God first. The truth is this, uh, who you hear first in your day really matters. Because hearing God can set the tone for your day. So I want to encourage you to keep listening. And I also want to encourage you to keep sharing this experience. Share your testimony of what God's doing. Whenever you get blessed by the Epic Devotional, send a thank you to those who have shared the word with you. And also uh, you know, share the testimonies of what God's doing. Then share the content of the, of the materials. We, we'll try to make it in written form and then in the recorded form. Get these materials and share to as many as possible. But keep listening. Do I say free to comment by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing by the word of God. The Lord bless you as you continue daily in this. I tell you, you are growing and you are becoming more like Jesus, just being part of the epic devotion. So I appreciate you for doing that. Simply log on to www.manifoldlagos.org to take part in this devotion. 6.30 a.m. to 7 a.m. 
Mondays to Saturdays. Manifold, impacting lives, influencing nations.